Welcome back to another episode of Unboxing Old Games. So we missed this on the first round. There is no information, nothing. It's just a bunch of these little green people. But it looks like, I can tell that two of them are like together here. Maybe there's some interlocking. Doing something they shouldn't be doing maybe. Uh, Look at this. So that's, uh, so it's like a, oh, oh, oh. hello. Okay. Uh, so it's a puzzle. It, oh, it's an orgy. This it's is an orgy, orgy puzzle. Yeah. So uh, for anybody who missed our first episode or episodes about unboxing old games, we ended up with games that are about 50 to 60 years old. And now we're unboxing them for you. We are grading them on a curve, a scale of one to 10, that is really dictated by <laughs> the fact that they're all old and probably very few would actually want to play. This guy's like, chilling. <laughs> These are pretty dope. <laughs> I, uh, I, this feels, oh my gosh, look at this. Look what's happening here. Yeah. Got some like, love, so you can probably some, see some yes, lovers. in our, in we'll our over cam. chandelier cam for this one. Chandelier cam. The, wow. So it's a game for lovers. Okay, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give this one a nine. I mean, these, they're so. They're very unique. Funny. And I'm up there, weird. I'm up there. I'm gonna go eight and a half. If they so, were, if they were wooden, 10. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. The, the, the plastic definitely loses a point for me on that one. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, but we got to name it because it didn't come with a name. Oh, uh. Little green orgy puzzle? Puzzle people. Puzzle people. That's more family friendly. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Poor no puzzle people. We have no idea what is inside here. I know that it's going to set off Jason's allergies, uh, but then we're done. The, oh, by the way, the, uh, the monogram initials on this case, MLK. So, thank you, doctor. These games of yours. Wow. You may have seen this in episode one. Hexed. It's just a Tangram it's puzzle. It's Barry hates it. With cheap plastic parts. Not woke. Beginner's bridge. Learn how all by yourself. All by yourself. <laughs> Why does that sound sad? So this also looks Never brand mind. new. Brand new in the sense that it wasn't used, but old in the sense that everything's crumbling and it's probably from 1960 something. Yeah, oh yeah. 1965. Like, I was gonna say four, but there you go. Look at this. Charles H. Gorin. Chaz H. Gorin. He goes by Chaz in this edition. <laughs> but uh, in episode one, wow. we had an evening of bridge with Charles H. Gorin. Someone um, out there's gonna be just like beside themselves that we don't know who this guy is. Yeah, Char and their name is Milton Ch Bradley. Chaz, Chaz Gorin. Uh, I guess just because I haven't played bridge and I'm not that interested in it, I can't give it a high score, but it's pretty quality. And it's got that little system in there. I'm gonna give it a five. There's not, the art is lacking. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a four. Four. High Q. God bless you. <laughs> uh, the new game craze by Koner. Okay, so it wasn't a game craze if they were calling it that. But this is just the, the Cracker Barrel. Oh, this is just the same thing? Oh, it's just another one of these dumb puzzles. Oh, so it was a game craze that they were trying to capitalize on. Oh, but it looks like there's some variations on it. Eh, still boring. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. I don't know, so you've got red and black pieces that maybe, oh, and look, you've got a little capper. Ah. Is that oh. supposed to be there? It like oh, eats them up. Jeez. It eats them up. I don't know. Uh, uh, eh. I don't know. Uh, it looks like it was fun, though. Does it? At some point. For someone. I am going to give it a two. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Now this art. The, sub, the subtitle is The Game of Knowledge. Okay, and what's the main title? Facts in Five. Facts in Five. Not that. to be confused with the, the hit musical act around the same time. Mambo number five. Jackson Five. Jackson Five. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, hate music. <laughs> then you'll love try, Mambo number try five. Facts in Five. <laughs> um, the, I love this I, art. I, I mean, I feel like they're both. This, this, again, Again, the scene. One of our favorite things in episode one was just how many of these like set sets were built around the gameplay with no people, but definitely like really dark, heavy furniture. Yeah, a lot of mahogany. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's an upside down pair of glasses. This, this person is at the library while where you play this game oh. apparently. 
So we're looking so, at somebody's back, 20 feet away. Literally the opposite of the Jackson 5 is Faction <laughs> 5. <laughs> Again, was... I like, I like this, this, the sturdy book. Yeah. I'm, I'm already liking this, by the so way. So they're all in on, on this art, which is seems to be just different depictions of people and, and uh, scenarios from history. Yep. Uh, so what's on there? Any number of people can play Whoa. Faction 5. It's absorbing as a solitaire game. <laughs> 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 this guy got sucked in. As a party game for a large group, it's loads of fun. Object of the game is for each player to fill in as many of his not woke. 25 play card blanks as possible in five minutes with words or phrases that agree with the five pre-selected class categories and in initial letters. I don't I just got Ooh, lost. Ooh, and we've got <gasps> someone's, we actually have the results of somebody playing this. That's exciting. Who did this belong to? And they have pretty fantastic handwriting. I don't know if you can get a little close up on that. That's classy. Ooh. Uh, let me see here. So you've got Okay, so you've got uh, letters. So you've got letters on the side. Oh, it's like categories yep. in a way. Yep. And then oh, so you've got a letter, and then you've got different um, categories. Categories across. The, so if I've got A, then I've got edible products, uh, spelling of foreign words, units of measure, colleges and universities, and spelling of English words. And then underneath that, you've got category. Spelling of English words. Yeah. That make any sense. You would just start with the letter. Make well, but but you've got exactly. But the, but so this one, the category spelling of English words, proper noun. So for A, they put Alamo. They didn't have anything for E. Oh, I see. I see. So for you Q, do, you do the, they couldn't think of a proper you noun. You do the class and category. Class and it has to fit into both. Exactly. Woo. Okay. So it's it's more detailed than categories. This is a thinking person's game. Oh yeah, so this is like this is it. like a stage. This is, says like stage and screen personalities as the class, and then category living. Whoa! They wrote Carol Channing, which I feel like should get two points. Carol Channing because it's double double, double C's. C's. Hmm. You know what? I like this. I like this a lot. Man, I, I'm going to perfect ten on this. Facts and five. Perfect ten. Wow. Uh, also, this might. This might put you even over the edge. You just set the timer right inside its own little, its own little holder. Look at that. I feel like they thought of everything here. Hmm. From the 3M company in 1971. The makers of Post-its? That's them. Wow. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. The art is, is classy. Now, I will say they would, it would have gotten a 10 had they mixed up the art a little bit, but they just used this exact same they doubled down piece. On that over and over. I like it, facts and five. All right, rummy double. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I don't know. It's heavy. I've never played rummy, let alone double. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> we thought that it might be some interesting piece. Okay. These are fun. I like these quality pieces. This this has that, that poker chip mm -hmm. quality you were looking for. Yep. Oh, look oh, at yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, Woo. that's my, whoa. It's, it's a rainstorm. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I think, I think if you like it, you like it. I don't know. Do I like it? <laughs> yeah, rummy. I guess you got to be a rummy. You got to be a real rummy dummy to like this one. Two. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's no art. There's nothing. I give it a one. Whoa! What about a bag of rummy? <laughs> oh man! How do you feel about that? You can't escape it. I, oh, I, I already like this better than it's the other one. It's the same thing. It's, it's wooden it's instead wo of plastic. It's wood, uh, wood shell thingies. That's and, cool. And then all the tiles are in there. I like this one better already. Two and a half. Yep. <laughs> I'm with you on that. <laughs> bag of rummy. All right. Now we're getting into oh. check line. The classic space tic tac toe game. Ooh, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah, but I, knew, I knew Barry was already gonna be like, oh, <laughs> I want to play that. Oh, I see. It's a multi-dimensional tic-tac-toe. Oh, no. Whoa. What? It's a classic space tic-tac-toe game. So like outer space. Outer space. Oh, the packaging is very strange because these guys just do that. But here's what you're, here's how you're playing. Is you're setting up. You have to build these four-dimensional tic-tac-toe. Oh, just broke that off. 
<laughs> it was glued on at some point though. Oh, that's, that's someone oh, that's true. Yeah. So but. then you set up that, and then you've got these, and you've got four of those. Yeah, yeah it's like 3D chess, right? Except the stick jacks out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's a lot of plastic. Some of it's broken. It is also decades old. Yeah. Mm. I, I wouldn't pull this out multiple times. I wouldn't give this a second glance. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I appreciate they were trying to do something different with tic-tac-toe. Tic -tac -toe. Um, is that what tic-tac-toe needed, <laughs> is the question. Check line, I give it a two. Deuces. Uh, executive mental block. Ooh. And the infuriating three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. Great packaging. I love this packaging. But that part too. The art is squat rock. Yeah. So is it just another like it's just another puzzle? By, oh uh, my god. By Benjor. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Benjor? I don't know, there's a lot of By, by Benjor. Oh, you're trying to make a square. A, cu uh, a cube. Oh, Not a cube. but look at this. The world cube. record, according to the sheet, the world record is 23.4 minutes. What? Yeah. 12 year olds get it in 45 minutes, teenagers in 50, corporation presidents 80 minutes. So corporation presidents, this takes forever. 12 year olds, they can do it faster, maybe because they've got the, the, the neuroplasticity. I is no, it's because they start soft by trying. It's, it's because they, they're not afraid to fail. There's a lot of, uh, there's, a, there's the um, marshmallow stick test of how, how tall of a beat of a, thing you can build with just marshmallows and sticks. And, sure. uh, and kids move better and faster. Then corporate, corporate yeah, yeah. Uh I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give that a... Uh, I'm going to give it a 7. What do you give it? 4? I just like the packaging. 3 to 4. I think that's maybe some of the best packaging. Uh oh, guess who's back? H. Hey, Charles! Back again! H. Gore! Chaz is back. <laughs> Tell some friends. So, the, from the guy who brought you Bridge for One. <laughs> bridge for Two. Wow. I mean, I don't need to see this, do I? But, okay, great. This guy loves Bridge. Also, this cover is hilarious. Look at the floating head of Charles H. Gorin. I feel, I feel like we, we, we're we stumbling upon his fame, though. It's for me, right? Is... Here we go again with Championship Bridge. My name is Alex Dreyer. Now we place two pairs of bridge experts against each other. Here is Charles Gorin, affable and debonair, Mr. Bridge himself, whose daily syndicated newspaper column appears all over the world. And Charlie and I will bring you a card-by-card -card play of this week's match on Championship Bridge. This familiar face has been seen and loved on movie screens since 1927. One of the four irrepressible Marx brothers, Chico here, has been playing bridge for 30 years. This is a, a, an interesting insight into the 60s that Charles Gorin was king. Like, he is hot bridge. He is hot, hot, sexy bridge action. Bridge. Auto bridge. So this is the Sauter O. Oh. Okay. There we go. Alright, this is quad. Oh, okay. This is an auto bridge. Wow. So you slide in your bridge game. And I, I, I think that's like maybe plays as your partner and opponent or something. Yeah, you, you can reveal later what people have. Wow. Classic. Again, we don't look at bridge, but like this is this is just cool. these little dials right there. Yeah, so these are your games. So you know it's like I like this. Before your iPhones, kids. Wow. You, know, you had to put in new paper. Oh my god. Look at this. Before iPhones, this is what everybody used iPhones. to communicate. That's right. You you would just leave this somewhere that your friend would find it and you would have the different dials set for different things to do this or you think mom is hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's from episode That's one. That's from episode one. It's not just a, an edge of Okay, but a random medical callback. Oh, yes, this was it. Uh, 
I don't, I don't, I don't even know. This must have had a box at some point. Yeah. Unless, if it really showed up just as this little string tied parcel, I, I, I like that. The um, perfect teacher, a fascinating game. Interesting thing, this is the only bridge game we've come across so far that is not endorsed, endorsed by Charles <laughs> H. Ward. <laughs> so I don't know what to think of it. I don't even. Hey, hey if it's not Chaz approved, it gets a zero. Yep. I, like, I do like that device though. Oh, Shakespeare it's game. It's the Shakespeare game. Do you remember this from episode one? Auto bridge with the box. Again. Look at that. We're moving right along. Yep. Uh, Flair, the fascinating new card game for two to six players. I find the more like hyperbole, the, the more important the, the game the less is. Fun it is. Yeah. Mm. It's cheap little plastic stuff. It's like cribbage meets cards, maybe? Mm. Mm. I don't like it. I don't know, I do either. I do like the gold I, foil in the packaging, but it's the art's not that great. It, it makes me, I don't know, like, makes you horny, does it? Does it make you horny? Flare, uh, one. All one. right. By the way, just so uh, our, our fellow game developers know out there, we wouldn't be this heartless with uh, game developers of today. Who are still alive. Who are yeah. still alive. So everybody who's made these games is most likely well, dead or doesn't know what you do. Once, once you die, you're fair game. <laughs> you yes, we were gonna rip you apart. Okay, Barry's favorite. Tangram! Nope. Is that different? Oh, no, I think it's the same one, but it does have the thinker on it. So uh, whatever that. From, no, if, you, if you're a fan of Trimino's, you might want to try it. Squad dominoes. Squad dominoes. The more sides you dominoes. match, the more you score. Which is also true of the Orgy puzzle. Yeah. Whoa. Quad dominoes. Look at the score. Gosh. Look at this. We counted like 500. Wow. 600. So this is. Somebody played this. There's a lot of numbers in pencil. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. No. Also, random hairs. So it fails the feud test. Hard pass. Hard pass. Quad ominous. That's it! Wow! To the old game vault. Thanks for tuning in. Woo! Uh, man. We're tired. <laughs> Is this where we're able to... Can we just digitally jump into the box? Oh. Can we fix that in post? Alright, here we go. Just the... The information <laughs> Fix it in the post. Thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye.